The increasing globalization of our food supply, food shortages, and recalls are causing growers, shippers, packers, retailers, and consumers to more closely examine how our food is processed and handled throughout the supply chain. Hi, I'm Lou Sirico, and in this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to look at how RFID improves food safety and quality. Issues and concerns over food safety and food recalls led to the creation of the Food Safety Modernization Act, the first food safety reform since 1938. The law focuses on the prevention of food safety issues and will redefine how food is tracked, traced, and monitored throughout the supply chain by improving processes and providing controls for both domestically grown and Because this food, food now needs to be shipped long distances via trains, planes, boats, and trucks, and across international borders, ensuring freshness and food safety becomes even more critical. RFID addresses these challenges. Growers, shippers, and retailers are being mandated to improve and document food safety and quality. But this doesn't have to be classified as just a cost of doing business. In fact, there can be financial benefits. Reducing waste in the supply chain means there's more food available for sale more revenues to be realized, generating a positive ROI, often within a single growing season. There are potential additional benefits for growers, packers, and shippers as well. Insurance companies who underwrite food shipments are beginning to offer financial incentives for businesses that utilize RFID temperature monitoring solutions to document and improve food quality and reduce risk and loss. RFID technology will help customers realize where their exposure to loss is. So somewhere in the supply chain there may be a point in time where on a reoccurring basis there are problems with temperature. Um, if an insured can realize where that is, they can take the necessary action to help prevent that. So. One way that RFID technology can be used to uh, improve product, food product quality and food product freshness is that it can provide all the stakeholders, buyers and sellers, with objective information about uh, food being held at an appropriate temperature throughout the cold chain uh, so that they can determine uh, how fresh a food is and an appropriate value at which to buy or sell it. It can also help stakeholders determine if a food was held at an improper temperature farther up the distribution chain where that temperature abuse may have occurred so that if there is some type of product loss claim that product loss can be allocated uh, to an appropriate responsible party and this in and of itself may reduce the likelihood risk and cost of litigating uh, product loss claims. And in the final leg transportation um, it was always assumed that in the back of a tractor trailer the temperature was fairly uniform, but it's not. Um, we've already seen we've taken thousands, tens of thousands of data points through transportation and we've seen up to a 30 percent variation in the temperature in the back of a truck from one pallet to another. There are a lot of reasons for it, but it just, you, you can't fix it. There's, there's always differences in every piece of produce in how it's traveled. So the key is measuring that produce, that pallet or that box of produce from the field all the way to retail delivery. And with that, you can fairly accurately tell the remaining shelf life.